In this video, we're going to talk about how to get back on track if you've got off plan with intermittent fasting. So the first place people normally fall off plan is when they have that random bite of food that they didn't mean to have, they didn't mean to take it, they just weren't really thinking, they're not used to fasting, they pop a bite of food in their mouth and then they panic because they think they've broken their fast and it's just over for that day. If you find yourself in that spot, just don't take another bite. It's important to understand that the way intermittent fasting really works is that it just limits the amount of time that you have to eat your calories. It's not the fasting window per se that gives you the results. And an easy way to prove this is that if you just overeat in your eating window, even if you're being very consistent with your fasting windows, you can still gain weight. That one bite of food isn't really a big deal at all. The only way it will become a big deal is if that one bite turns into a lot of bites, which then just eventually turns into not fasting at all and thus not practicing intermittent fasting at all. Which brings us to the next way that people fall off plan is that they really fall off plan. You know, they, they break the fast early and they just, you know, they, maybe they were trying to get to a 16 hour fast, but they broke it at 14 hours. And then, you know, they just start eating and that day they're just not doing the plan. And then they feel guilty about that. And so then it's hard to do it the next day. And sometimes what happens is people will either, uh, overshoot or they'll undershoot. So either they'll just say, I, you know, I messed up and I just, yeah, I can't get the motivation to get back on plan. Or on the other hand, they'll say, well, yeah, I broke the fast early today. So now I'm going to try to do, you know, I'm going to make up the time. I'm going to fast for a lot longer. And neither one of those is a very good option. The best strategy really is that when you're practicing a certain kind of window that you just keep the same times open each day. So for example, if you're doing a 16, eight, uh, you know, maybe just keep your hours of eating in between something like 11 and seven. If you do that, then it's a lot easier to get back on plan because you know that your window closes at a certain time. And so even if you open it early, if you just keep that same closing time, the same, that will help you to stay in that rhythm. The problem is that a lot of people, once they've opened it early, then they try to recalculate the windows and stuff and, and try to like make it more complicated than it needs to be. Ultimately though, this is a process of just learning how to fast. So if you can just keep that in mind that this is a practice, this is not something that's going to be done perfectly every day. And even, you know, once you get to be a really good intermittent faster and you have this all down pat, you know, you're going to have things come up in your life where the fast is going to be broken early. You know, maybe it's going to be people come in from out of town and mess up your schedule, or maybe it's going to be somebody calls you and they want to go to lunch and you want to go to lunch with them. There's going to be all sorts of things. So if you can keep this in mind that it's a practice that you get better at over time and it's never going to be perfect, uh, that can really help you to get back on plan once you get off. And the important thing is, is that you get back on track as soon as possible. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. I want to take a moment to thank all the insiders who have joined this channel. Insiders get access to my vlog and in my vlog, I talk about how I'm implementing intermittent fasting in my own life in maintenance. I also talk about experiments I'm running and I give behind the scenes looks at this channel. Insiders also get shout outs and access to a weekly members only live. If you'd like to become an insider, just click the join button below. Thanks.